So a while ago I watched a YouTube video that um, used this little PCIe slot to use a full size graphics card uh, on a laptop using the mini PCIe slot underneath as an extension for it. Uh, so I looked on the website and it said yeah this uh, this laptop which is an Acer Aspire 5755G is compatible with it so I went ahead and you know what, yeah, it's only 30 odd quid so I'll buy it um, and I got it uh, it turns on, it plugs in uh, but the computer doesn't detect it I've tried various things, I've been into the, the BIOS and everything uh, and on all the videos they just go into the device manager on Windows 7 and uh, it's just there uh, but I've tried this MSI Twin Frozer graphics card which I borrowed from a, a friend and I've also got this GeForce GTX 960 from EVGA uh, all using this power supply which is plenty powerful enough according to the uh, website's description and none of it seems to work so if anyone's got any ideas or helpful tips uh, that would be really useful because uh, I want to use it because because that that'd be really good to use with this and I don't have a tower PC at the moment so this is everything plugged in to my GTX 960 um, as you can see I've got the power connector in here that just turns on the power supply because this goes to the green wire through here um, the HDMI to mini PCIe that's plugged into the bottom there um, I've got my VGA out through the DSI port, DSL port um, and as you can see it's connected because it's flashing because if I disconnect it yep, it tells you that it's not connected to anything so now I've just plugged the uh, the connector that you get with the power supply so that it's always on for alternate uses uh, which aren't PC uh, and this, this isn't a PC setup, it's a laptop setup so I use that and this green light here is on, showing that the HDMI cable is plugged in. If I unplug that, the green light goes out. All the while, these fans are just, well, they're ticking over, but they're not ticking over in a continuous fashion. They're just sort of having little shakes in here and there. Um, and there's a little red light on the out there. Not sure if that's a bad thing or not. It's just always on when there's power into the unit. When I turn my laptop on, the green light goes out and it starts Windows. This does nothing. Green light goes out and that's it. Um, you know, everything's still connected up. There's my VGA into my screen. The little blue light flashes there. Uh, everything's connected up under here. So when I power it on, uh, it takes a little bit more time to power on than when the card's not connected. Uh, I assume that's just because it's sucking a bit of power from it. But again, don't know, because it doesn't communicate with it. Okay, so here I am in Device Manager. Um, on all the videos that I've watched, it's just they click into Display Adapters and the card comes up. And that's the internal card, the NG NVIDIA GeForce GT 540M. And there's the integrated Intel graphics driver or GPU. So, yeah, and I've been into all the NVIDIA software. Nothing's nothing's working. Um, for a simpler explanation of what I want to do, I did draw this up. This is this is my original drawing of how I wanted it to work. Uh, and the only thing that's not working is this little uh, P PCI Express port, um, which is a shame. So if anyone can help me, that I'd be uh, really grateful. Again, I'm not sure if it's the NVIDIA GeForce 540M GPU that's already internally in the laptop that's uh, conflicting with the, with the card. Or if it's you know the power supply or the screen's just the wrong kind of screen, I don't know. Um, I might just be being stupid and missed something completely. That is a huge contributing factor to how it works. But other than that, you know, help is really appreciated. 
hopefully when this gets sorted, hope well, hopefully it gets sorted, uh, I'll post a video uh, showing the fix so people that are in a similar situation can uh, can do this as well. I'll uh, I'll link that in the description if it's done, uh, and you'll be able to find that there. Uh, and then I'll do it with this lovely, lovely Logitech C920, which is so much better than my phone. So, if you're able to help, contact me on Twitter, at Sparks42x104, or email me on parksaurustech at gmail.com. Yes, I know, it's a great email address. Um, that's I'll put that in the description. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.